When I told my friends that I am visiting Uzbekistan, questions were mainly centered around where is this place? Uzbeki what? I'm hearing about this place for the first time and I traveled to this place solo. Uzbekistan is such a beautiful country and is dismissed due to the presence of Stan in its name. But I want to tell you that this place is photographer's heaven, a paradise of monuments and has an aura of colorful walls. Here are top 10 favorite places of mine in Uzbekistan that you should definitely not miss. So I entered Uzbekistan by road, Kyrgyzstan se I crossed the border area and entered Uzbekistan and reached Tashkent, the capital of Uzbekistan. Namaste. Namaste. Salman Khan. Where I stayed with my couch surfing host exploring different aspects of Tashkent, the market and understanding their style of living. Oh, this is a hall. This is a mind. Uh, cool. But decided to start the trip from the very end, which is Kiva. Many train li thi till Kiva overnight train thi. <laughs> and I reached Kiva, which is very beautiful, like an open air museum. Sabina, nice name. Once you reach Kiva, you will be surrounded with the desert stories and 19th century tales all around you. There are four gates to enter the old Kiva, north, east, south and west. As soon as you will enter the open air museum of Kiva, you shall come across Kalta Minar as the first architectural marvel of Kiva. It is 29 meters tall, although when it was initially planned, it was planned to be much bigger in length. A few believe that the construction was stopped as it was believed that people would be able to see inside the Khan's harem. While on the other hand, people also believe that Amir Khan, the last emperor of Uzbek Mangith dynasty died before the completion of the Minar and hence was left unfinished due to his demise. Second is Islam Hoja Minar. In Kiva, you can easily get the city view from Islam Hoja Minar, which is also the highest minar of Kiva. It is 45 meters high and looks even marvelous during the night time. This place is named after chief advisor of the last two Khans, who was known for his wealth as well as his knowledge. The third one will be Muhammad Amin Khan Madrasa. This is one of the main sites of Kiva and is the largest madrasa in Central Asia. Now Kiva is not only Central Asia's first UNESCO World Heritage Site, but it is also one of the most intact cities on the Silk Route Road. For now, I've just mentioned top three of my favorite architectural sites in Kiva, but do you know there are more than 50 historical attractions inside a compound which is known as Ichinkala and once you visit Ichinkala, you can see so many monuments. Local people told me that when this place become touristic, government decided to move all the population inside the fortress to outside. That's how old Kiva, in old Kiva you can find old structures and ancient architecture of that time. Now if you want to visit Ichinkala, there are different different entrance fees. The one that I will recommend is the VIP pass. Through this you can visit everything, the minaret, the watchtower. The second one is standard, through that you cannot visit the Bosch Tower or the city walls. And another one if you're traveling on a very tight budget is economy, where you can just go inside the ancient city but you cannot get access to the historical sites, basically you cannot go inside them. Now Uzbekistan is not a costly country to travel in but with international travel finally opening up, we all need to up our financial game so that we can plan our travels a little better. With this, I want to introduce you guys to Neo Global Card with which you can enjoy 0% forex markup anywhere in the world. In fact, you can also experience luxury and comfort with complimentary airport lounge access which is very essential especially when you have layovers. All you need to do is load your card with INR and spend freely in 150 plus countries. Plus, another feature that I really like about this card is that you can lock it temporarily 
and unlock it once you are ready to use it again which is very handy if by chance you have misplaced it you can also locate atms near you and convert currency in real time with the help of neo global app the download link is in my description box below check it out it will be very helpful in your international trips now after spending 2 days in kiva you can go to samarkand i took an overnight train again to samarkand and stayed in a hostel which was extremely nice kyunki samarkand mein sari jagah bahut hi aas paas hai again it is like an open air museum not exactly like kiva but the blue architecture over there will blow you away <laughs> हिंदुस्तान हेलो नमस्ते समाकंड इज इक्वली ब्यूटिफुल ड्यूरिंग द डे एज वेल एज एट नाइट ड्यूरिंग द डे डिस्पाइट द हीट यू विल बी एबल टू एंजॉय इट्स आर्किटेक्चरल मावल वाइल एट नाइट टाइम ऑल दीज मावल्स गेट इल्यूमिनेटेड विद गोल्डन लाइट It feels like you're walking right in the middle of a fairy tale of Arabian Nights. I'm from Iran. Do you like this like compared to Iran? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Visit Registan which is the largest architectural wonder in Samarkand. Inside Registan you will be able to find the madrasas. Visit Shahi Zinda Necropolis which is one of the most beautiful complex in Samarkand region it dates back to 14th century and when you will reach the place it feels like you are walking in some tiny blue maze everything is so beautiful and walls are so intricately designed every wall here is picturesque and worth photographing you will also find a board in front of all these architectures which states the story of the person or his or her relation to the king <laughs> <laughs> Another favorite place of mine in Samarkand which is actually in Rajasthan is Uluk Beg Madrasa which was built in 1417. He was an astronomer and mathematician who invited scholars to work and teach at Samarkand making it the intellectual capital of the region. He also found an observatory and produced the most comprehensive catalog of stars and at that time it was the largest scientific educational establishment in Samarkand. After this go to Bukhara and visit Poi Kalyan complex. This is also the main reason why tourists go to Bukhara and it is so beautiful that Genghis Khan did not destroy it. You will witness the beauty of madrasas and mosques here. It's a video. Oh. <laughs> Hello India. Привет India. Приезжайте по хорошему будем. Let's welcome back. Hello <laughs> Ramstar. After this go to the trading domes which is now the modern bazaar and you will find several souvenir shops and eating joints. However, these domes were built to protect the nomads or traders from the excruciating heat of Uzbekistan during the olden times. Last but not the least is the Ark, a royal town within a royal town is what Ark feels like. It is Bukhara's oldest structure which dates back to the 5th century. The entire structure is so unique and has a very different and beautifully carved column heads. Personally I found Bukhara to be the most lively city of all there are so many restaurants and eating joints where you can hang out and also meet new people By the way a bonus place that I would like to talk about is Chor Minar which looks quite similar to Char Minar in India Each of the four minarets is of a different shape and is believed to reflect the religious philosophical understanding of the world's four religion. Definitely another one of my favorite places in Uzbekistan. Now Uzbekistan is very beautiful. I'm not a city person but this is the first and the only city which blew me away. Everywhere you will look you will find some extremely nice architecture. I will suggest you to see more of Uzbekistan. 
discover more find more places that you can see apart from all these 10 places that i have told you guys you can also go away from the main cities and attractions to discover more of uzbekistan to find offbeat places but yes these 10 places are a must visit i hope this video was helpful like share comment subscribe for the algorithm and i'll see you guys in the next video until then bye and take care